let's talk about interior angles for polygons. So first, let's just talk about the difference between an interior angle and an exterior angle. Pictured here, center, we have a pentagon with all the interior angles marked in white and all the exterior angles marked in red. Interior just means inside. We see them marked in many colors on the left. And exterior just means outside. We see them marked on the right. Now, one thing I do want to discuss with you is what happens when we have something like, I apologize, let me try that again. What happens when we have something like this, where we extend more than one side, and we have this angle that's vertical to the interior angle? That is not an exterior angle. Exterior angles are only happening when one side of the polygon is extended. So something to keep in mind that exterior angles are from one side extended. When you have two side extended, you have something that is vertical uh, to an interior angle, but not something that is an exterior angle. Okay, well, let's talk about a pattern that we'll see. One thing that we remember from triangles is that they add up to 180 degrees on the inside. Now, what we do with every other shape is we just split it into triangles. We pick a vertex, and we split it into as many triangles as it takes to make that shape. Once we've split it up, we count the triangles, and we multiply that number by 180. You'll notice that with a three-sided shape like a triangle, that's one triangle. Four-sided shape, two triangles. Five-sided shape, three triangles. And as we keep going, this pattern continues where an n-sided shape has n minus two triangles. So let's look at this example. It says, find the sum of the interior angles for a convex pentagon. So pentagon, that's five sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our five minus two and multiply that by 180. That is going to give us 540 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles for a convex pentagon is 540. Now it says find the measure of each interior angle on a regular pentagon. Okay, so regular pentagon means that all your angles and all your sides are the same. So inside this pentagon, which we just computed on the last problem, had 540 degrees on the inside, what is just one of those angles if they're all the same? Well, we're going to take our 540, we're going to divide by 5, and that is going to give us 108. Just one of these angles is 108. They're all 108, so they can add up to 540. Um, that's what we need to do. Okay, which of the following convex polygons interior angle measures add up to 1,440 degrees. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. We know that we took some n minus 2 times 180, and it gave us 1,440. So let's go ahead and divide each side by 180. The reason I'm doing this is I'm going to solve for n. I'm going to solve for the number of sides that we have. This is going to give me 8. So if I want to add to each side 2, I'll get n all by itself, and n is equal to 10. So now we got to look at these options. Which one of these shapes has 10? Well, dodecagon, that's 2, or do for 2, and deca as in decade, um, 10. Okay, octagon, well, you guys have seen octopuses before. 
that means eight sides. Nonagon, that's actually 11 sides. And decagon, oh, just dec, that's 10 sides, okay? There's our answer. Remember, if you're not sure on your Greek or Latin roots, Google is, so go ahead and look at Google. Now let's find the value of y in the measure of each interior, if the measure of each interior angle of a regular triangle is 60y. Okay, regular triangle. Remember what regular means is that all the angles are the same. Same ends with an E, my apologies. And so each one is 60y degrees. Now, if all the angles are the same, then I'm just going to go ahead and divide 180, because that's what the interior angles of a triangle add up to, by 3. And that's going to give me that each angle is 60 degrees. So if each angle is 60 degrees, and each angle is also 60y, then I can set 60y equal to 60 degrees, divide by 60, and that's going to give me y is equal to 1. Okay, let's look at this one. It says find the degree measures of each interior angle for the quadrilateral PQRS. Now, if we're not sure what the interior angle sum for this quadrilateral is, um, then what we need to do is split it up into triangles. I see one triangle here. And I see another triangle here. So I know that this is made up of two triangles. So I'll take that two, two times 180, and that's going to give me 360. So I know that all of those add up to 360. Well, if I know they all add up to 360, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, well, first I'm going to switch to a pen so I can fit everything that I need to write. Negative 9n plus 218 plus 3n plus 6 plus 10n minus 6 plus 5n plus 70 equals 360. Almost didn't have space for that. Okay, let's combine like terms here. Now, if I'm combining like terms, the first thing I'm going to look for is all my variables. Negative 9n plus 3n is negative 6n, plus 10n is 4n, 4n plus 5n is 9n. Okay, next up, we have 218 plus 6 is 224, minus 6 is back to 218, plus 70 is 288. Last thing we have is 360. Okay, now let's go ahead and minus 288 from each side. It's going to give me 9n equals, what is 360 minus 288? 72. I'll divide by 9 on each side. And n is going to be equal to 8. Okay, n is equal to 8. Now, how will I solve for the measure of angle P and the measure of angle Q? Or I'm just going to plug those things in. So I see Q over here is 5n plus 70. So that means I have 5 times 8 plus 70, which will give me 110. And Q, oops, sorry, that was Q, my bad. We'll just say I was solving for angle P over here. So I was solving for Q here. Um, so P is equal to 10n minus 6, um, where n, of course, is 8. So that's going to give us 80 minus 6, which is 74. Now we want to find the value of A 
if the measure of the interior angles of the pentagon are, now we already said that a pentagon adds up to 540 degrees, so I know that 8a plus 7a plus 10a plus 10a plus 10a, so I've just taken all of my angle measures and copied them down, so I have five angles here. Um, that all add up to 540 degrees. Now let's add all this up. What's 8 plus 7 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10? That's 45A. Oops. 45A equals 540. Let's divide each side by 45. It's going to give me 12 for my A value. That's all for today.